Advertising is a technique and practice used to bring products, services, opinions or causes to public notice for the purpose of persuading the public to respond in a certain way towards what is advertised. The Advertising Practitioners Council of Nigeria describes advertising as a form of communication through the media about products, services or ideas paid for by an identified sponsor. Advertising in Nigeria has grown from its earliest beginning of using town choirs to announce the availability of products to become a major sector in Nigeria. This practice now plays a very important role in the economy of the nation, considering that it serves as a source of information about products and services. The earliest form of um, advertising is through town crying. So, like we all know, um, back in the day when someone wanted to pass and information, they just hire a town crier and he goes about to talk about whatever we want to pass across and make sure that everyone in the community learns about this. So that's the earliest form of advertising back here in Nigeria. So from then on, I think it was in the 1700s when um, newspaper or paper adverts moved into Nigeria. So that was when, that was probably during the colonial era. So when we now began to use magazines as well and papers to communicate, to um, pass whatever information we want to pass, whether it's the government or business, businesses as a whole. So those are the earliest forms of um, advertising in Nigeria. Then from then, we've now moved to where we have um, radio, TV, then from radio and TV, then we moved to online. So these days, it's basically, it, you find a lot of companies spending a chunk of their budget on online advertisement. I think means communicating your product to your audience in a way that convinces them to take a desired action. So it's simply that's um, what I call advertising. But um, tracing it back to the earliest, um, to, to, to the its earliest history, simply put, advertising has, is as old as man himself. Advertising has taken place from time immemorial, just that it was not known to be called advertising in those days. Um, a lot of people believe that it's until somebody puts something on, on digital media that it becomes advertising. No. Now, let's, let's look at um, the town criers in the pre-colonial era of the African society. As primitive as some people would um, view Africans to be, Yet, our town criers communicate um, information to the people of the community about events, about uh, whatever is going to happen or has happened or will happen. So this is a form of advertisement in history. Since the inception of advertising business in Nigeria, certain developments have taken place as well as new trends. These practitioners discuss the margins of these trends and in the industry. Besides the online advertisements, the um, trends you would find in Nigeria are um, companies using multimedia boards. I think especially in Lagos, you find a whole lot of multimedia boards at strategic places. And trust me, everywhere you meet um, a multimedia board, it is strategically placed there. It's not just um, a function, it's not a mistake because some sort of um, uh, um, research would have gone on. Maybe they would have studied the area to be sure that it's where, uh, there's, um, where a lot of people pass through, where there's constant traffic, where there's um, a lot of activities. So these are the things that actually inform these decisions. Because, of course, advertisers know that the, um, the more people who view your stuff, the better, at your, uh, the better it is that you have uh, the chance that you convert, the better the chance that you'd convert them. So these billboards are some of the trends that um, you would see that are evolved in the field of um, advertising. But after the establishment of Iweri by Reverend Henry Townsend, the rise of the newspaper, I mean, the print media came up. That was the next trend. And people actually saw it as an opportunity to advertise. So people started advertising using the print media, say posters, magazines, and the, li and the likes. Then after that, there, there came the trend of the radio and television. And people started patronizing 
radio and television. So that gives rise to a multiple patronage of advertising. And then after the radio and television, um, there, was a, there was a rise in the economy at one point. And this rise in the economy gave the opportunity for um, multiple businesses to rise. So as businesses began to rise, there was a higher need for advertising to take place. So this gave rise to, um, because of the demand for advertising, advertising agencies began to spring up. On the challenges faced in the advertising sector of the country, despite its tremendous growth, the experts have this to say. That's a very, very good question. Because um, just like we have in other sectors, it cannot just all be rosy and all. In advertising, I think uh, the first challenge I can think of right now is the fact that it's a process of trying to outdo the competitor. Because, of course, for every business, there is always a competitor. So the process of trying to outdo your competitor, you tend to now start thinking about the cost of doing this. So the number one challenge is um, cost. Because, trust me, advertising is not cheap. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. So one of the challenges is trying to outdo the competitor. And like I said, the important part, like all the most, uh, uh, um, um, the biggest challenge in this angle I mentioned is the cost, cost of advertising. So because, of course, if you say you want to outdo your competitor, do you have the funds? Can you do what your competitor has done? So it's actually a challenge for many people in the advertising sector because when you meet a client and the client wants to start making sales, wants to start growing their company, and you ask them for their marketing budget, and they say, oh, this is what, but okay, if you have this amount, I hope you understand that this other company has this amount in terms of marketing budget. So this is one of the challenges that many people in the advertising sector usually experience. And, and another thing is um, consistency. So um, marketing in general, beyond advertising now, you have to be consistent. You cannot just um, pay money for an ad this month. And because you've not seen immediate results, you want to move, you want to bounce out. You, want to, you don't want to do that advert again. No, it's like taking a step forward and taking 10 steps backward. If you check, we have over 400 advertising agencies in Nigeria now over 400. And out of the 400, only about 200 of these advertising agencies are registered with the um, reg regulatory bodies. And this is a reason why we have the low quality of uh, advertising services out there. You know, before you check one or two buildings in the street, you already see advertising agencies like two or three. But if you check the quality of their services, that's where the problem comes from. And that, um, I believe that, uh, that leads to another problem. So um, there's a solution, there's, I feel that there's a single solution to these two problems. The second problem is that I don't think um, the advertising agencies or advertising regulatory bodies in Nigeria have enough data to be able to monitor the advertising workspace. It's a big challenge that if agencies cannot monitor who and who is running adverts in Nigeria, what is our number? What number do we have? What, what, does, it, what, what does the data say? It's, it's a big problem. And it will give them the challenge of having to monitor what goes out from where. So, and I think that is um, where, that is where, um, uh, this solution comes in. I, I think advertising agencies need, I mean, advertising regulatory bodies need to do more by sourcing for data, by making it mandatory for um, agencies to register before they can, um, you know, they can actually put out their content out there. The advertising practice in Nigeria has expanded to a great height and it is still expanding. Despite the achievements recorded by this sector in Nigeria, it still cannot be compared with advertising practices in developed countries. In view of these, exponents in this field should endeavor to improve their progress in order to produce a world-class advertising environment in Nigeria. Ololade Oke, Kaftan TV, Lagos.